Is cloning animals ethical? Animal cloning is when an exact copy of one animal, called a donor, is created by transferring its DNA into the empty egg cell of another animal and then implanting this egg cell into a surrogate where it grows and is finally born. Ethics is the study of what is morally right and wrong. So to rephrase the title of this video, what we're finding out today is how morally right or wrong animal cloning is. Before we decide whether animal cloning is right or wrong, we need to look at its pros and cons. To animals first, and then humans. Then in the conclusion, we'll be able to weigh up the pros and cons of animal cloning for animals and humans, and decide whether it's morally right or wrong. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you watch my previous video on animal testing, which discusses a similar topic to this. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video for more great content. Let's get to it. Animal cloning is a new and experimental practice. Because of this, it offers many potential benefits to animals, as long as we keep going with it. For example, animal cloning allows us to create exact copies of certain animals, which could also help us preserve endangered species, like pandas and tigers. It could also allow us to recreate animals with desirable traits, like guide dogs for the blind and sniffer dogs, as well as animals doing less essential jobs, like racehorses. There is also the potential for animal cloning to be used to help restore lost species, like the woolly mammoth, and maybe even dinosaurs. Recently, the cloning of dead pets has also started. Of course, there are downsides to cloning animals on the animals themselves. Take this last point about the cloning of dead pets. It arguably objectifies the animals, treating them like a commodity that can be brought back to life, as long as somebody's willing to pay. Furthermore, the cloning of pets simply increases the number of strays being euthanized, as families that could have taken them in choose to bring back their dead pets instead. It's also important to underline the amount of waste that occurs when animals are cloned. For example, before Dolly the Sheep was the first mammal to be cloned, there were 277 failed attempts and multiple miscarriages, meaning 276 eggs were wasted. Furthermore, Dolly, like many cloned animals, lived a shortened life. Many have argued because she was cloned from a six-year-old sheep. Many other clones are also born with physiological disabilities. Or maybe animal cloning is worth it in the long run because of the benefits it has to humans. For example, the process of cloning animals involves manipulating the DNA of both the donor cell and the egg cell, which helps us learn more about DNA as a whole. This could help us learn how to eradicate certain diseases, like age-related ones, like dementia, and certain cancers. The cloning process also creates stem cells, which are cells that can be used to grow new organs, like hearts and spine tissue. Also, the cloned animal can be directly compared against the donor, which allows us to use them for experiments on different drugs that can be used to help humans. Or maybe animal cloning is not worth it, because of the suffering it brings on animals in these experiments. Also, animal cloning is arguably a slippery slope to human cloning, which elicits many more questions. Who decides who should be cloned? Does the donor have some sort of ownership over the clone? Many argue that human cloning would be an example of us playing God, deciding who lives and who dies. And the number of destroyed eggs associated with cloning would elicit a lot of moral condemnation from a significant segment of the population that see these eggs as being alive. Human cloning also risks the creation of designer babies. A designer baby is when fertilized eggs or embryos have their DNA manipulated or selected to remove genes associated with certain diseases and select or insert genes associated with certain traits or characteristics. No more Down syndrome every baby born genetically predisposed to succeed in a certain field. Is this what the future holds? In conclusion, it seems that animal cloning can be represented as morally ethical, depending on whether you can accept two factors. Firstly, it depends on whether or not you can accept the waste of animal life it necessitates in terms of destroyed eggs, etc., in order to gain the benefits. 
Secondly, it depends on whether you're able to accept the risks of humans being cloned next, and all the moral connotations of that. If you can't, then you must oppose animal cloning, as these two factors, waste of life and scientists making overtures towards cloning humans, are a necessary consequence of animal cloning. That's animal cloning. Please like, share, and definitely subscribe. Thanks for watching.